Hey Gerald, who is a massive inspiration and the greatest bodybuilder of all time? It <laughs> wasn't a penguin. Okay, fine. Simon of the Board A-hole here doing something a little different on the channel. Don't know what this weird dance was. Should have brought Gerald the fitness mascot with me. I didn't. What can I say? I'm a terrible, terrible father. But yeah, I wanted to try doing more vlogging stuff as we talked about. And also everybody talks about Miller do more stuff in the gym. We want to see that. We want to see this. So this is just my way of doing it. I'm treading my toe in the water. Then I'll expand on it. I'll build on it. I'm going to try and bring some of the elements that we already do across to this kind of stuff. They're not going to go away. We're going to keep doing it. And I thought, what better way to start off than by doing one of the guys, if not these two guys really that inspired me to start going to the gym. One was Arnold Schwarzenegger, talk about him in a second, and the other was Triple H. We're going to do Triple H at some point, but I thought Arnie has, well, he's much more of a bigger star than Hunter Hearst Helmsley, the Greenwich Blue Blood. So I had some of his meals, I did some of his training, I put it all together in a little video. Uh, any ideas for stuff we can do more, do in the comments below. Any feedback, comments below. Again, I'm brand new at this kind of stuff. Before, it's just been me sat at a table running my ass off, my mouth, <laughs> ran my ass off. Ass, come back here. But yeah, let's get into it. This is eating and training like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And as a little spoiler, the eating's fine. The eating's actually kind of basic. I kind of condensed it because I thought, well, everyone knows about this stuff. But the training is flipping nuts. So we're at the, the gym. It's pretty early. Uh, my car clock isn't working. <laughs> Good. But yeah, Arnie, I think he usually gets up, as we said earlier, he gets up, has a cup of coffee, goes and does some, um, some cardio. I don't drink caffeine. We've done a video about it. We're going to do another video about it soon. We're just going to go in there, going to smash out about maybe an hour today because I may have been a little bit excessive in my cheat meal last night, which I should have filmed. I'll get into a pattern of doing it. But yeah, this is how he starts his day. You get up nice and early. You drink some kind of caffeinated beverage or whatever you want. I had some amino acids. That kind of still kind of works. Let's go and do some cardio, even though we know cardio sucks. So we do cross trainer. Never filmed this before, but as you can see, it's probably the dumbest way to film anything. I kind of look like Mario popping in and out of a pipe. But yeah, best way to do faster cardio or any kind of cardio is just forget about it <laughs> and somehow try and distract your mind. But that's what people used to say about having sex, right? They were like, when you're having sex, think about baseball, which is a very, <laughs> a very strange way to do it, but it probably works for cardio. So I think about baseball for the next hour, and I'll see you on the other side. Don't let anyone tell you they're going at moderate speed doing steady state cardio, whatever you want to call it, make, make it look like a mess. Look at this, absolutely ridiculous. Even my eyes too, I've got one of my eyes, sweat gets in there, they go nuts. But just, it's all about you, man. You have a good workout anyway. Right, so we're home, and now we cook breakfast. Arnie doesn't really have that much of a crazy breakfast. He has like four eggs and a couple of bits of bread and then he just drinks a bunch of milk. Now, I'm not gonna drink milk. I drink almond milk if you care. I know it makes me a loser because a bunch of water, as people tell me all the time. But if I drink, I think it's eight ounces of milk or something. If I drink that much milk, bad things are gonna happen to my stomach and bad things are gonna happen to my life. So we're gonna whip this up, we're gonna have it. His lunch is basically just meat and then more bread. We don't need to do that, we will do dinner. But the main thing I wanna show you is after we do the workout later, he has this crazy post-workout shake. I think that's far more interesting in terms of how far we've come. We'll smash the breakfast, we'll have the dinner, we'll do the shake, and if you want to train like Arnie, trust me, it will wear you out. I already know this. So I know most sort of the vlogs like this will just show you the meal being made, but I mean, it doesn't take a genius. <laughs> you crack some eggs into a bowl, and that's about it. So I went for scrambled. Arnie says you can do any kind of a style. I throw a cat avocado in there because I like to keep my good fats. I won't say hi, that's not true at all. I just think it's important to get good fats, especially for your cholesterol. And yeah, there's two pieces of bread. It was just bread, and I cut it with a knife. Right, so the morning's out of the way. We've done cardio, we've eaten breakfast, we've had some other food here and there. Look, throughout the day, like I say, Arnie basically goes bread, meat, fruit, bread, meat, fruit, have a bit of cottage cheese, bread, meat, fruit. It's an interesting rhyme he came up with. I think it was born in Austria. Because you have to talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger in 2020 as well as back in the 80s, 90s, 70s, whatever. Because nowadays, he's a vegan. You can go on his Instagram, his social media, he'll be talking about it. He has found it a way to adapt his diet so it's vegan. And he still says, he still says, oh, I can still grow muscle like this if I had known this back in the day. Who knows what I would have done? What is it exactly that you want to see in the fridge? You just want to see the food, or do you want to bust me because I'm not 100% vegan? Now, I'm not going to pretend that uh, I do the vegan diet. Probably something I should look into, all things considered. But I think the main takeaway from it is that you have to be adaptable and you have to. 
you know, just the point with Arnie is he learnt about everything. He didn't just do it, he didn't follow anybody blindly. He went out there and he was like, oh man, this is really interesting. And then when you have the knowledge and you have the power in your brain, you're able to make those kind of choices as and when you go. So including me, don't just look at what I do and go, oh, I'm gonna do it as well. I'm a bored idiot, what the hell do I know? Go on the internet, learn, figure out why people are saying things, how it affects your body. And then you can tailor make that or tailor make your diet around that as well as your training. Again, Arnie does crazy amounts of volume or he did back in the day, but today he says, he probably wouldn't have trained like that because of X, Y, and Z. And that's why I think he's a fascinating character. I mean, one, we wouldn't have bodybuilding like we have it in this country or the world if it wasn't for Arnold Schwarzenegger. What an impact he made. But two, he keeps it simple. In many ways, he really does. He keeps it simple. It's not too crazy. It's not too nuts. Again, especially with the diet, which we've talked about. Anyway, it's time to head to the gym. When we get gap, we're going to have one of his horrendous protein shakes. Well, I, I never had it. It sounds horrendous. We talked about it in a video we did a few months ago. It sounds like feet. I'm terrified. He just cracks some eggs in there. I've never had a raw egg, never been something I need to do even when I did see Rocky. Point is, let's go to the gym, we're gonna smash that push chest and I guess I modified it a little bit, you will see. All right, fine. I find it really weird recording stuff in the gym. So don't say I don't do anything with you, but as said, keep walking, keep walking, cameraman. Come on, come on, movement. Movement's everything on YouTube. So I'm not supposed to take his workout. Today, I've kind of modified it to match what I do, so it's a push day, but I've taken everything he does, and it's basically just the biggest amount of volume I've ever seen in your entire life. So, I'll do it, we'll talk about it, we'll do the diet as well, and if you like these kind of videos, we'll do more, and if you don't, you'll tell me in the comments, and I'm still gonna do it. First thing Ali does after he warms up is he does bench press. I'm gonna do chest press instead. And he goes four sets, 15, 12, eight, six. So obviously you're starting off with a relatively low weight. 15 reps is still quite a lot. And then when you get time to six reps, you're going pretty heavy. Now I haven't done that in ages. As you know, I'm a time under tension. I'm a 12 to 15 rep guy. So it's gonna be interesting. We also have so much to do. I'm just gonna go with this. I haven't done a chest press for six reps in a long time. I can't skip. Right, number two, dumbbell flies. And he does cable flies, so aren't these nuts? This is just four sets of 10 reps. I mean, he's all about volume. We talked about it before. He just did volume, volume, volume. When you've got genetics like he does, I suppose it works. I'll let you know how I feel tomorrow. But for now, dumbbell flies. Four sets, 10 reps, yeah. Honestly, dumbbell flies. Impossible to get your form right. Makes you pull just the dumbest, dumbest faces. Right, so we have done chest press, we have done flies. We're meant to be doing dips now, but we can't tell using it. So don't forget, you can always change your workouts up on the fly. But the PA just shouting us to sign up for the gym that we're already signed up for. So we did an incline press. The interesting thing now is he switches to four sets of 15 reps. So he is shaking things up. But don't forget too, it's not all about volume. If you don't have enough time in your life, you don't have to do set, 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 rep, rep, rep. Arnie was basically a pro bodybuilder back then. He had the time, but also he enjoyed the gym. So never be afraid to change things up on the fly. When you're in the gym, don't think you have to absolutely kill yourself, variety, diversity. We talked about it all before, but for now, incline press for 15 reps. I don't even know what weight to do. Right. See, I usually lift more than that. I'm crazy fatigued. It's like I say, Arnie's a nuts person. But you change it up, you change it up. Exercise four, the man is insane. Dips. Now, I usually use dips as like a finisher for my chest or my push days. I'm gonna guess he's got, he does a bunch of tricep work anyway. So I'm guess he's doing dips for chest. So I'm gonna try and do that. Right, last one. Was it the fifth flipping set, Arnie? You numpty? Not numpty at all. Great body, whatever. Absolutely love him. Massive inspiration. He finishes off with cable flies, even though he's done dumbbell flies. later. Chest is done. Now I got your shoulders. Arnie's better than me. All right, once the shoulders, we go. There's no point in me stopping in between each and every one of these. Just 
time is valuable, as was mine, Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, we are doing front machine press, that's all we've got. You know, you can make it work in your gym. We're doing lateral raises, good one as always. Bent over laterals, I'll probably superset them together. And then we barbell press, then we do triceps, and then we go home and eat, and maybe die. All right. the point where your muscle's absolutely dead. You don't need to be, you know, a big boy Barry. Oh, I'm gonna lift loads of weight. No, just do what makes sense, get your reps in. Right, we're on to triceps. I literally am so dead. So usually he does rope pulls, pull downs, the rope's gone missing. Like in every other gym that's ever existed, the rope pull will just go missing. I think I'm ready to go. So that's the most ridiculous work I've ever done. The funniest thing, this is why I wanted to focus on this meal rather than the other meals. The other meals are bread and potatoes, like, like you're living in medieval times. He's got a shake he used to make, and he used to have three meals, and then he'd throw in a couple of these, including one when he, when he worked out. Now originally, it's a bunch, I can't get a lot of stuff in the UK, because the UK sucks. So let's just go one by one. The first thing it says to do is 16 ounces of milk, which I don't drink milk. Milk does not serve me well as a human. <laughs> so I'm gonna use almond milk, I know, basically water, we talked about it earlier. I mean, 16 ounces is like 400 milliliters, I'm gonna go with 300. Because <laughs> I've decided that's more than enough. And we can always put more in afterwards. Now the weird bit is, six raw eggs. I've never eaten a raw egg in my entire life, like that, obviously. I'm going with three. And now you can write in the comments, Simon, you absolute wuss. And then I'll just block you from the channel. <laughs> and I won't, you can say whatever you want. Uh, I just, I don't know how I feel about it. You're not gonna get poisoned really in 2020. That's a very old school, we don't need to get into all of that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna put in three raw eggs, because what is going on? And then yeah, he puts in eight ounces of whipping cream. It just, it's just not something you can get in the UK. I'm not pouring double cream into this. So I've decided yogurt will be, <laughs> will be a fantastic substitute. So he puts in eight ounces, which is like 220 grams. But he put in more eggs as well, so this may actually not be liquid, screw it, who cares? Let's just put in, let's put in 200 grams. Now you're saying, Simon, you said you're gonna eat like Arnie and you just <laughs> make it up as you go. And once again, yes, my YouTube channel, I do whatever I want. I would also say, just because I know sometimes Greg Doucette watches my videos, I do use a Ninja Blender, <laughs> Greg Doucette, based on, on you. Uh, but I'm at my girlfriend's at the moment, she has a Nutribullet, which is really good. If you can't afford a Ninja Blender, the Nutribullet will do it. Uh, that's everything. Now usually you blend it with six teaspoons of lichen, I don't know how you pronounce that. It's basically some kind of soya thickening agent. You can't get it in the UK without ordering it in. I'm never gonna eat it again, I don't like soy. We talked about that channel before. And my girlfriend only has fun protein. So, we're going with Maltesers. And it's just a couple of scoops of this. Her scoop is gonna be something ridiculous. Yeah, it's only 15 grams, so let's put in, just around 50 grams, only, okay, we'll put in 50 grams because that's 30 grams of protein, which seems, this is disgusting. <laughs> I think it's absolutely disgusting. Yeah, 25 grams. See, look at it. Just, we'll do a scoop test as well one day. This says one scoop is 25, that's 18 grams. Never trust the scoop, always weigh. The scoop will, uh, the scoop will lie to you. What a thing to do for a, for a YouTube channel. All right, so there it is. In my opinion, the worst thing I've ever heard. And we put it on, put it on the wall, and we go. So, I mean, it's liquidy. <laughs> it's a shake. Oh man, it looks so bad. Do you want some of this? I'm good. <laughs> smells like feet. All right. Oh, the problem is, I knew that was gonna happen. You get the egg. You get the, you know when you like drop an egg on the floor and you pick it up and it's all goopy. You get that. Really, I put in too much yogurt and I should have used less milk. And I guess that's because you usually use the lechon to thicken it up. I imagine if it was a bit thicker, it'd be all right, but you know what? It's not so bad. It's not something I would choose to drink, but there you go. That's what Arnie does, and if Arnie does it, well, that's good for me. Can I try it? You actually want to try it? Yeah. Is it horrible? All right, Liz is trying it. You didn't want to try it a minute ago. 
It was fine, right? Oh no, she didn't. She didn't enjoy it. Like a weird tangy aftertaste. Mm. I'll probably be dead tomorrow. Oh well, make sure you upload it on the channel. Oh, I got a lot of egg. Um, right, I'm going to shower, do all of that, and then we'll smash his dinner, which again, it's basically medieval times, and thought I'd let him throw up. Right, dinner, or last meal, whatever the hell Arnie calls it. It's again, it's super simple. Um, this potato's mine, I'm not having both potatoes, but he probably could, Arnie probably did. He just says, one potato. <laughs> so he doesn't, he doesn't weigh his stuff, so we just throw that in there. And then he has eight ounces of chicken, which is basically 226 grams, because I'm a dirty Englishman. And that's what we do, which is, I mean, they're really quite mini fillets actually. I may actually put it in the oven now I've done this. No, can't be bothered. But yeah, 260 grams, which is quite a lot of chicken. Top of my head, that's probably about 70 grams of protein, give or take. There you go, 230. It's not really that much chicken at all, but it's about that. And then he has it with some fruits and vegetables. It's a simple meal. I'll show you it when it's done. I don't really think you need to see me whipping up some chicken. You can tell me otherwise in the comments below. That's that. Potato, chicken, buried under a bunch of cabbage and vegetables. This is how Arnold Schwarzenegger eats. So, you know, I'm not just gonna stare at it. That would be really weird. I'm gonna eat it.